the great spiritual leaders of the past, like Jesus Christ, Buddha, Muhammad, Krishna and others, left us clues to understand the universe's language. They didn't hide this secret. They taught us to do it just like they did. These leaders told us to let go of bad feelings we might have now, like anger, frustration or fear. Instead, they said to think about how we'd feel if our wishes came true, but to feel that way right now. For example, Jesus Christ would thank God before doing a miracle, as if it had already happened. In this video, we'll teach you how to visualize properly and make everything you want come true. We'll also tell you what not to do so your thinking doesn't get messed up. But first, you need to know exactly what you want in life. If you're not sure, it's hard to focus on it, and then it won't come true. Once you know what you want, you can use the methods we'll show in this video. Let's begin by looking at 10 mistakes you absolutely need to avoid when you're visualizing. 1. Visualizing in third person. Visualizing in the third person is a critical error in the process of visualization. Imagine you are visualizing an achievement or a goal. Now, if you see yourself from an external viewpoint, like watching a movie where you are the main character, you inadvertently create a psychological barrier between yourself and the experience. This method of visualization can lead to a sense of detachment, making it harder for your mind to fully believe in the scenario you are creating. To effectively utilize visualization, it's essential to see through your own eyes. Imagine the scene unfolding around you, feel your presence in the scenario, and engage with the environment as if you are living in that moment. For instance, if you are visualizing a successful presentation, see the audience from your perspective, hear their applause, feel the texture of the podium, and experience the moment as if it's happening in real time. This immersive approach makes the visualization more powerful, enhancing its impact on your subconscious mind. 2. Visualizing in the future. A common pitfall in visualization is projecting goals into the future rather than experiencing them in the present. When you consistently visualize your goals as future events, you inadvertently reinforce the idea that they are out of reach perpetually on the horizon. To counteract this, Shift your mindset to experience your goals as current realities. This approach is based on the principle of living in the end, which means you visualize as if your desires are already fulfilled. For instance, if your goal is to become a successful entrepreneur, don't just imagine future success. Instead, visualize living that success right now. Feel the satisfaction of running a successful business, interact with clients, and experience the day-to-day -day operations as if they are currently happening. This method helps in aligning your subconscious beliefs with your conscious goals, creating a powerful synergy that aids in the manifestation of your desires. 3. Excluding people from your life. Often in visualization, people overlook the importance of integrating significant individuals in their lives into their imagined scenarios. This oversight can make visualizations feel less authentic, causing your subconscious to question their reality. To create more comprehensive and believable visualizations include friends, family, or partners in your mental images. For example, if you are visualizing a celebration of a professional achievement, imagine your loved ones there sharing the moment with you. Hear their congratulations, feel their embraces, and see their happy faces. This inclusion not only adds depth and realism to your visualizations, but also reinforces the emotional connection to your goals, making the experience more vivid and impactful. Four, neglecting the power of feeling. Visualization isn't just about seeing, it's about feeling. When you visualize your goals, it's crucial to engage your emotions fully. This emotional engagement is what turns a mere mental image into a powerful motivator. For instance, if you're visualizing achieving a personal goal, don't just see the outcome. Feel the joy, pride and satisfaction that comes with it. Emotions act as a potent magnet in the visualization process, creating a stronger connection between you and your desired outcome. They enhance the realism of your visualization, making it more compelling and effective. The more vividly you can feel these emotions, the more real and achievable your goals will seem to your subconscious mind. 5. 
allowing contradictory thoughts. Contradictory thoughts can be the biggest adversaries in effective visualization. When you visualize, it's essential to maintain clarity and consistency in what you're imagining. If doubts or contradictory thoughts intrude, they can dilute the power of your visualization. Imagine you're visualizing a successful career move. If doubts about your abilities or fears of failure creep in, they can undermine the positive scenario you're trying to create. It's important to consciously acknowledge these negative thoughts and then let them go, refocusing on your positive visualization with clarity and conviction. Consistency in visualization builds a strong, unambiguous image in your mind, reinforcing your belief in the possibility of achieving your goals. Six, static images versus action. Avoid the trap of visualizing static images. Dynamic visualizations where you see actions, changes and developments are much more effective. For example, rather than just picturing yourself standing on a mountaintop, imagine the climb, feel the effort in your muscles, hear the wind and experience the joy of reaching the top. Make your visualizations like a Hollywood movie where you are the main character and you see reality through your eyes. This dynamic approach makes your visualizations more engaging and realistic. 7. Lack of belief in visualization. Belief is the cornerstone of effective visualization. If you don't genuinely believe in what you're visualizing, the exercise becomes less effective. This lack of belief creates a dissonance between your desires and your expectations, weakening the impact of your visualizations. To make your visualizations more powerful, align your beliefs with your goals. For example, if you are visualizing a new career opportunity, it's crucial to believe in your ability to achieve this goal. Cultivate a mindset that supports your vision. Affirmations and positive self-talk can help reinforce your belief in your visualization, making it more likely to manifest. Eight, visualizing the process, not the outcome. One of the subtle yet significant errors in the practice of visualization is the tendency to focus on the process of achieving your goal rather than the outcome itself. This distinction is pivotal for effective manifestation. The real power lies in visualizing what happens after you've achieved your goal, as opposed to just the journey towards it. Let's take the example of running a marathon. The typical approach might involve visualizing the training process, the early morning jogs, the strict diet, the build up to the race day, and even the act of crossing the finish line. However, this approach keeps you in a state of becoming rather than being. It places your goal perpetually in the future, just out of reach. Instead, shift your focus to what life looks like post-achievement. Imagine the feelings, experiences and changes that come with having already completed the marathon. How does your life change? How do you feel about yourself? What kind of conversations are you having with friends and family? What new goals or aspirations do you have? When you visualize, don't stress about how you're going to achieve everything you think of. The universe will guide you through synchronicities. These are like signals or signs. Your job is just to have a clear vision of what you truly want. If you follow these steps and stay focused on your vision, you will attain it. Nine, insufficient visualization time. The frequency and duration of your visualization practice are crucial. It's important to dedicate enough time to your visualization regularly to reinforce your mental images and deepen their impact on your subconscious. A fleeting or occasional visualization lacks the intensity and repetition needed to effectively imprint your desires onto your subconscious. It's not about the length of time you spend visualizing, but rather how often you do it. For instance, Visualizing once a week for three hours isn't as effective as visualizing 18 times a week for 10 minutes each time. Regular sessions are more beneficial than infrequent ones. Ensure you spend over half an hour each day visualizing, ideally doing it twice a day. For perspective on its power, consider the example of professional Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps, who used to visualize for two hours before going to sleep. This practice is a testament to the effectiveness of regular and dedicated visualization. 10. Straining yourself energetically. Visualization should not be an exhausting effort. If you find yourself straining during visualization, 
it might be a sign that you're trying too hard, which can be counterproductive. Visualization should be a natural and relaxing process. If you're feeling strained, take a step back, relax, and approach the process with ease. Gentle, relaxed visualization allows your mind to freely imagine and create, making the experience more enjoyable and effective. Now that we've covered what you must avoid during visualization, let's explore some tips to make your visualizations more vivid and realistic. These strategies will help you manifest your desires more quickly in your life. 1. Engage all five senses. To make visualization truly effective, it's essential to engage all five senses. Our perception of reality is deeply rooted in our sensory experiences. Visualizing with all senses makes the process incredibly vivid and powerful. For instance, if you're visualizing a dream holiday, don't just see the scenic views, hear the waves crashing, feel the warmth of the sun on your skin, taste the local cuisine and smell the ocean air. This multi-sensory approach creates a more profound and immersive experience. It's not just about creating a mental picture, it's about recreating a complete sensory experience in your mind. This holistic engagement of senses tricks your brain into believing that the experience is real, thus enhancing the effectiveness of your visualization. It's about making the unreal so vividly sensory that it becomes indistinguishable from reality in your mind's eye. This technique is also useful in solidifying memories and experiences, making your visualization not just a fleeting image, but a lived experience in your mind. 2. Comfort is key. Comfort is crucial when it comes to effective visualization. Before you begin, ensure that you are in a comfortable position. This could mean finding a quiet room, sitting in a comfortable chair, or lying down in a relaxed posture. The importance of physical comfort can't be overstated. If you're physically at ease, your mind is more likely to be calm and focused. Discomfort can be a major distraction that pulls your mind away from the visualization. The goal is to achieve a state where your body is relaxed enough not to be a distraction, but alert enough to avoid falling asleep. This state of relaxed alertness facilitates a deeper, more focused visualization process. It's a fine balance between relaxation and alertness. Too relaxed, and you might drift off to sleep. Too alert, and you may find it hard to let go and immerse yourself in the visualization. Find that sweet spot where your body's comfort allows your mind to freely explore the realms of your imagination. 3. Leverage past successes. Using past successes to fuel your current visualization is a powerful technique. This involves recalling a past achievement and the emotions associated with it, then incorporating those feelings into your current visualization. For example, remember the pride and joy of a past success maybe a promotion, a personal milestone, or a significant achievement. As you recall this event, immerse yourself in the feelings it evoked at the time. Then, transition these emotions into your current visualization. By anchoring your new vision in the emotional energy of past successes, you provide a strong, positive foundation for it. This technique leverages the brain's inability to distinguish between real and vividly imagined experiences. By tapping into the emotions of past achievements, you're essentially telling your brain, I've succeeded before, I can succeed again. This not only boosts your confidence in achieving your current goals, but also creates a more emotionally charged and impactful visualization. 4. Elevate your energy. Beforehand, engaging in activities that elevate your energy levels before visualization can significantly enhance the process. High energy leads to more vivid and effective visualizations. This could involve physical activities like a brisk walk or a short workout, or mental activities like listening to uplifting music or engaging in a stimulating conversation. The idea is to get your energy flowing and your spirit lifted. When you enter the visualization process with high energy, your mind is more active, alert and receptive. This heightened state of awareness enhances your ability to create vivid, detailed and dynamic mental images. Think of it as warming up before a physical workout. Just as your body performs better after a warm-up, your mind visualizes better when it's energized. This practice of elevating your energy beforehand primes your mind for a richer, more vibrant visualization experience, making your mental imagery more compelling and effective. 
However, if you really want to manifest the life you've always dreamed of, just watching these videos on YouTube and not taking any action won't bring about any change in your life. It's easy to feel a temporary sense of improvement, but without action, you're just staying in your comfort zone. To truly turn your life into the dream you envision, it's essential to start visualizing what you desire right now and continue doing it regularly. Make visualization a consistent practice. Remember, the principle of reflecting your inner state in your external world is crucial in this journey. If you found this video useful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, and don't forget to share it with your loved ones so that they can take advantage of these powerful tips. Thank you.